Hey everybody, welcome to another Gypsy Wares production here. My name is Paul and uh, today we're going to do a vlog style video. We're going to get right into that footage, but before we do that, I just wanted to uh, thank you all for tuning in and if it's your first time here, please consider subscribing if you're interested in reselling and making money online and all that kind of stuff. So... Uh, yeah, let's get into the footage. Stick around at the end of the video and we will talk about a recent uh, Star Wars lot I put together. It sold real fast and it sold for full asking price. So we'll talk about that at the end of the video. Now let's get into this. All right, so this is almost the last of these dog bones. These are cases of uh, these dog bones. They expire a year from um, pretty much now. 02, 28, yeah, second month, 11th day next year. Just under a year away. So now, you know, the, t the clock is ticking. But this is pretty much the last of them I got to move. I would buy again as long as I've got over a year to get rid of them. Because anything over a year, you don't really got to disclose expiry date. But after a year, you got to put the expiry date in there. And then it's like, oh, are you going to sell them before they, they run out? But, uh... Yeah, I would buy again. I sold a lot of them. It took a little while for them to start selling, but then all of a sudden, boom. I was shipping them all over Ontario. We can't sell this outside of Canada. But uh, customers coming to pick up these last bo last boxes here. Uh, just now, I got a couple more in my storage unit. I'll bring them here. I'm sure we'll sell those uh, pretty soon. I've got to actually go update the inventory because we're going to sell out. I just found one more case up here. But uh, somebody's coming to pick up all this stuff right here. Pretty happy about that. Good news is, is I was going through some totes and I found this. I've had this and this product these two products listed for years i've sold many totes full of them um they're uh, xbox 360 accessories uh, batteries uh with uh, dual chargers or just batteries with the charging wire um sold me uh, you know several i wouldn't say hundreds but uh quite a few dozen anyway uh, i thought i was out i've been sold out you know since halfway through this pandemic pretty much uh, six months ago I sold them all because uh, video games got hot but I just found this tote full of them I didn't know I had so yeah, activated the listings again and um, uh, yeah they're returned but uh, I, I charge the batteries and test all that stuff before it goes out so um, really good so you know there's a couple hundred bucks in uh, in, uh, in in money here and then there's this uh, hard drive transfer cable. That's only 10 or 13 bucks. But uh, yeah, and these are already listed. So it's, it's real easy. You just just got to activate the listing and away you go. Pretty happy about that. You know, another couple hundred bucks. So that's that. And then we're about to send all this stuff into uh, the Amazon warehouses there, the uh, FBA. So I'm going to pack that real quick right now. This product I've done really well with selling this for about 50 bucks right now anywhere from 45 to 50 bucks i've got as high as 60 for them i don't like charging that high i paid i think 15 a piece this is an address sign led charges during the day no wiring needed it charges by solar uh comes on at night great product i mean if i could get skids and skids of this i would but um you know uh, it is what it is. It's pretty much a private label product. I, I'm just lucky the guy hasn't gave me any hell. We're just gonna pack them in this little box over here. Get them out of my warehouse and put them in theirs. And these things literally, I could sell, if I put the price down to 45 bucks and I, and he's not selling any, the other guy, he runs out of stock all the time. I'll sell 18 of these in a day. Problem is, is they're so big, the shipping is about 
a dollar each, even with Amazon's good rate. It's going to cost me about a buck each to get them to the warehouse. No, this will be about $12, so a little bit less than a dollar each, but there's enough profit. And uh, not too many returns. You still get returns. Maybe 8% or something, but... And then I just, uh, you know, if I get the return, it comes back to the Amazon warehouse. I pay 50 cents to get it back, and then I just sell it open box. Most cases, it's fine. They haven't even installed it. So I'm just going to put some stickers on these little bad boys. After the stickers are on, I pretty much seal up the case. Okay, yeah, there she is, 18.4 kilograms, going to Scarborough, Ontario, right here from Milton, Ontario, just down the road, $11.14. All right, go make me some money. Finally get around to listing these records lying around the shop. Some cool ones I pulled out there. Uh, what do we got there? Little, uh, little... <laughs> Little Pink Floyd uh, relics. That's an interesting one. Apparently, it's a bizarre collection of antiques and curios. I don't know why I picked this one. We had 25 bucks on it, but it's got some woman's name on there. The Flat Earth. There's for all you flat earthers out there. Little Thomas Dolby. And um, this one's 50 bucks we had on it at the old retail store. Square Pusher. I don't know what kind of music this is. I'm pretty sure it's like... I don't even know. I don't even want to say. Rave Tonight. That probably gives you an idea. So we'll see if we get anything close to 50 bucks for it. For uh, 80 bucks sold on eBay. For this Square Pusher record here. So I guess it does have some value. And then if you look over on Discogs, um, I don't know if you guys know what that means there, but um, a lot of people want it. And uh, those are the those are the the prices the data is looking at there. So Square Pusher's got some value, baby. We'll see if we can sell it. Here's a cool little knife we just sold. Going out to BC. Happy birthday to uh, somebody. I don't know why they left that note. <laughs> but anyway, um, it's just Chinese decorative stuff, but you don't see one like that every day. And that sold for $49.99 plus tax, plus $29.70 in shipping, a total of $85.80. 69 cents for this bad boy right here. Cool little knife. All right, I'm really pumped to talk about this one. That little Star Wars lot that we put together last week of the 16 action figures there. So it sold real, real quick. I'm pretty happy about this. 225 bucks, full asking price. It sold within like a week. Then the guy is super, super happy to uh, to be getting them. This is how I know he left a cool note. So let's check that out. He said, this is my childhood in one purchase. Thanks for keeping them in such amazing condition. I had them all my whole life, but never sealed. I got the enjoyment of playing with them growing up. Now I get the enjoyment of owning them again and taking care of them pure joy. I mean, isn't that the coolest note ever? I was pretty pumped about that. I hope you guys like that little uh, little happy ending there to the today's video. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. This is Paul from the Gypsy Wears channel. Peace. <laughs>